Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Minute. I'm your host, Ivan Estrada with Ivan Estrada Properties at Douglas Solomon. And in this episode, I'm giving you all the do's and don'ts when updating your kitchen. What will give you the best return on investment and what won't? So the Real Estate Minute's gonna work like this. There are three segments, one minute each, three minutes total. Let the Real Estate Minute begin. New kitchen flooring or appliances? What will give you the best return on investment? When upgrading your kitchen, it's a good idea to start with the flooring. Stay away from all those dark colors or marbles or very specific colored tile because you want to make sure that it's as neutral as possible. The best way is the large plank, very type of maple colors, more than creamier sides, something that's a lot more neutral, especially if you're looking to sell your home. Now, something you don't want to invest your money in, and this is going to be a little bit surprising, is appliances. That's right, even like Viking and Sub-Zeros, they're all depreciating assets, and they're also very specific to the homeowner. Now, if you're looking to sell your property in the next 30 to 60 days, you'll get a much larger return on investment if you put it towards the flooring instead of the kitchen appliances. Should you be investing in your kitchen countertops or faucets? When looking where to get your best return on investment in your kitchen, you want to invest in those countertops. Quartz, marbles. Right now, stones with a lot of veins are making a huge impact in really giving that wow factor, especially if you're looking to put your house on the market. Now, where you don't want to invest your money, and I know this is gonna sound pretty surprising, is in the kitchen faucets and the hardware. These two items are the two biggest items that new homeowners will change whenever they buy a home. Why? It's very tailored to each homeowner because you might have some beautiful black hardware and faucets and then you have a buyer who says, I want something more metallic, something more silver. If you're looking to get the best return on investment, put your money on your kitchen countertops. Consider this before installing a pizza oven in your kitchen. When putting your house on the market, an open floor plan kitchen is the way to go. Now, if you have a galley kitchen, you want to make sure that you get an architect and a builder to make sure that when you open up the kitchen, there aren't any load bearing walls. Now, where you don't want to put your money is specific kitchen appliances, such as a pizza oven or a coffee machine. Why? Well, these are very specific to the home buyer and very specific to you as the homeowner. Many home sellers are unaware that home buyers may actually remove that pizza oven or that beautiful coffee maker just to make more room for storage and cabinetry. So before investing in your property, before putting it on the market, I would put my money on opening the floor plan in the kitchen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Real Estate Minute on the do's and don'ts when upgrading your kitchen before putting it on the market. I'm your host, Ivan Estrada with Ivan Estrada Properties here at Douglas Elliman. Make sure to follow me on social media and I will see you next time.